Good day, everyone. Our topic for today is about operations and functions. So these are the objectives. The learners should be able to, number one, define operations and functions. Number two, identify the different operations and functions. Number three, perform fundamental operations and compositions of functions. Definition of terms, let F and G be functions. So the first one is the addition of functions represented by the sum of the function of F of G of X is equal to F of X plus G of X. Next one is subtraction of functions represented by the difference of the function of F and G of X is equal to function of X minus G of X. Next is multiplication of functions represented by the product of f of g of x is equal to f of x times g of x or g of x times f of x. Next is division of functions represented by the, the, the quotient of f of g of x is equal to f of x divided by g of x. Lastly, Composition of functions represented by the function of g of x is equal to the composition of function of g of x or composition of g of f of x is equal to composition of g of f of x. So let's proceed to the examples. Okay, so for our example, we do have given three functions, f of x is equal to x plus 5, and then g of x is equal to 2x minus 1, and then h of x is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 15. So let's have example letter A. So example letter A is function of f plus fu function of g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x, okay? It's equal to, we identify the value of f of x. f of x is equal to x plus five. So we are going to substitute it to the given. And then, so the quantity x plus five plus, and then same goes with g of x. Let's identify what is the value of g of x g of x based on the given that is 2x minus 1. So 2x minus 1. And then copy x plus 5 plus 2x minus 1. Okay, and then we, after this, we collect like terms. When we say collect like terms, uh, we group them uh, for those terms with variables and those terms without variables. So we can have x and then copy positive 2x and then copy positive 5 and then copy negative 1. And then after that, we evaluate terms. x plus 2x is 3x and then positive 5 minus 1 will give you positive 4. Okay, so let's have exa uh, example letter B. So let's have G plus f of x is equal to g of x plus f of x, okay? It's equal to, again, identify the value of g of x, that is 2x minus 1, plus, and then the f of x is x plus 5, and then copy 2x minus 1 plus x plus 5 is equal to, again, collect like terms. So 2x plus x, negative one plus five. So let's evaluate 2x plus x is three x, and the negative one plus five will give you positive four. Okay, so let's have example letter C. So for example, letter C, uh, let's have f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x is equal to, so again, identify, substitute the value of f of x, that is 
x plus 5 minus g of x is 2x minus 1 is equal to so in the subtraction of functions uh, we need to <clears throat> excuse distribute the negative sign here to the to the given terms okay so bring down x plus 5 then let's distribute negative so negative times positive 2x that will give you negative 2x and then negative times negative 1 that will give you positive 1 is equal to and then after that collect like terms so x minus 2x copy positive 5 and then copy positive 1 and then let's evaluate x minus 2x that will give you negative x and then 5 positive 5 plus 1 that will give you positive 6 so the answer for uh, f minus g of x is equal to negative x plus 6. Let's try example letter D. So g minus f of x is equal to g of x minus f of x is equal to, again, identify the value and then substitute. So g of x is 2x minus 1 and then minus then the function uh, f of x is equal to x plus 5. x plus 5 is equal to, uh, so again, we need to distribute the negative sign to the given term here. So distribute means we multiply. So copy to x minus 1, the negative times positive x, that will give you negative x. The negative times positive 5, that will give you negative 5. So collect like terms, so 2x minus x minus 1 minus 5 is equal to 2x minus x that will give you positive x and the negative 1 minus 5 that will give you negative 6. So the answer for g minus f of x is equal to x minus 6. Okay, so Let's move on to next example. Okay. There we go. So example letter A, B, C, D, E. So example letter E, F times G of X is equal to F of X times G of X equal to again we base on the given and then we substitute so f of x is equal to x plus 5 then multiplied by g of x which is 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 1. Uh, in algebra when two parentheses uh, it means multiplication now we do not need to copy any uh, anymore the multiplication symbol here okay so what we are going to do here is to distribute positive x to 2x minus 1, okay? And then we are going to distribute positive 5 to 2x minus 1. So again, when we distribute, it means we multiply. So it's equal to, so we distribute positive x to 2x. x times 2x, that will give you 2x squared and then x times Negative 1, that will give you negative x. And then positive 5 times 2x, that will give you positive 10x. And then positive 5 times negative 1, that will give you negative 5. Okay, it's equal to, since as you can notice, uh, naka-arrange na siya. So when, when, when we do arrange uh, polynomials, let's uh, identify the highest exponent and then uh, decreasing should dapat. Okay, so as you can notice here, the highest exponent here is 2. That's why it's the first term. And then uh, followed by x and then 10x and then negative 5. Negative 5 is constant, so it should be in the last term. Okay, so we cannot evaluate to x squared and negative x. Okay, why? Because they are different terms because the, high, the exponent of x is 2 while the exponent of x here is 1. So we cannot evaluate them. So what we are going to do here is just bring down to x squared. 
And then since these two can be evaluated, negative x plus 10x, that will give you positive 9x minus 5. So the answer for uh, f of x times g of x is 2x squared plus 9x minus 5. Okay, so let's try. So letter f, that will give you a, a g times f of x is equal to g of x times f of x is equal to, again, identify and then substitute. So that is 2x minus 1 times f of x, which is x plus 5. And then the same process, we distribute 2x to x plus 5. And then we distribute negative 1 to x plus 5. Okay, so 2x times x, that will give you 2x squared. And then 2x times positive 5, that will give you 10x. Then negative 1 times x, that will give you negative x. And then negative 1 times positive 5, that will give you negative 5. So 2x squared, bring down 2x squared since it, can't, it cannot be evaluated anymore. While here, 10x minus x, that will give you positive 9x. Then bring down negative 5. Okay, so as you can notice, not in multiplication of functions, uh, even though you switch functions, since you switch the position of the functions, the answer just is still the same. Okay. So let's have uh, example letter letter G. So letter G, we have F divided by H of X is equal to F of X divided by H of X, okay? is equal to, so again, let's identify if f of x is x plus 5. So divided by h of x is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 15. Okay, so in order for us to, ident uh, to evaluate this properly, we can write it down as x plus 5 over x squared plus 8x plus 15, okay? Uh, in order for us to evaluate um, division of functions, we need first to uh, factor given polynomials if, they're, if possible, okay? So here, x plus 5 is already in its simplest form, so we are just going to copy x plus 5. While, as you can notice, the x squared plus 8x plus 15 can be factored out, okay? So, if the factor of x squared plus 8x plus 15 is x plus 5 times the quantity x plus 3, okay? So, we do have x plus 5 over the quantity of x plus 5 times the quantity of x plus 3. Three. Okay, since we do have the same terms, x plus 5 and x plus 5, we can cancel it out. Okay, so uh, I will expand it. So x plus 5 over x plus 5, okay, times 1, then we do have x plus 3 here. Okay, so x plus 5 divided by x plus 5 is it's just like 4 divided by 4, 2 divided by 2, that will give you 1. So we can cancel it out, and it is understood that it is equal to 1. Then, so 1 times 1 over x plus 3, that will give you 1 over x plus 3. Okay. Uh, let's try to switch the, uh, the position of f and h of x. So letter h example, let's have h divided by f 
of x is equal to h of x divided by f of x. Okay, is equal to h of x is x squared plus 8x plus 15 divided by x plus 5. So again, it can be written as x squared plus 8x plus 15 all over x plus 5. So again, we need to identify if the given terms can be factored out. So x squared plus 8x plus 15 can be factored out while x plus 5 is already on its simplest form. So what we do here is identify the factors of x squared plus 8x plus 15. So that is the quantity x plus 5 times the quantity x plus 3 all over x plus 5. So again, the same process. So x plus 5, we do have similar uh, terms. So cancel it out. So the final answer will be x plus 3 over 1 or x plus 3. Okay. Okay. So we are done giving examples for operations on functions. So let's move on to the next, which is about composition of functions. Okay. So composition of functions denoted by let f and g be functions. So it is represented by the composition of f of g of x is equal to the function uh, f of g of x. Okay. And so we do have the composition of g of f of x is equal to g of f of x. So let's have examples. As an example, okay, so let's have, we do have f of x is equal to x plus 5, and then g of x is equal to 2x minus 1, and then we have h of x is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 15. So composition of functions, so again, composition of f of g of x is equal to function of f of g of x. Okay, so and daming of g of g of of. Okay, so ganito lang yan, kasimple. Uh, sige, example natin. So example natin, uh, take natin this example, okay? So f, or the composition of f of g of x is equal to f of g of x. So again, let's identify first what is f of x, okay? So ganon. Titignan nyo, f. Yung na sa labas ng parenthesis, so kailangan natin isulat yon Let's identify and then let's substitute. Sabi, function of x uh, is equal to x plus 5. So we are going to write down the quantity x plus 5. Then after that, g of x, anong gagawin natin si g of x? So what we are going to do with g of x is to substitute the value of g of x, which is 2x minus 1, sa lahat ng variable x ng f of x. So, makita ko na lang. So, since ang f of x natin ay x plus 5, tama? So, isa-substitute natin yung g of x, which is 2x minus 1 sa lahat ng variable x. So, yung 2x minus 1 sa substitute natin dito sa x na to. So, mangyayari, papalta natin yung x na na quantity of 2x minus 1 plus 5. Okay? And then, the same process after that, uh, collect like terms. So copy 2x minus 1 and then plus 5. And then you evaluate 2x minus 1. You cannot evaluate that. So copy 2x and then negative 1 plus 5. That will give you positive 4. So this is now your final answer for composition of f of g of x. Okay? <clears throat> uh, let's have another example. Example number 2. Uh, try natin pagbalik na rin. So, composition of g of f of x is equal to g composition of f of x. Okay? Equal to, so again, g yung nasa labas. So, kuhanin natin yung value ng g which is 2x minus 1. So, that is 2x minus 1. So, yung f of x is yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, 
uh, isa-substitute natin yung value ng f of x sa lahat ng variable x sa g. Ipakita natin, 2x minus 1, 2, 2, x minus 1, substitute yung f of x, which is x plus 5. So, 2 times the quantity x plus 5 minus 1. So, ayun na yun. 2, ito yung 2. Ito yung x. Yung x natin, sabi ko, substitute yung f of x. Ang f of x natin ay x plus 5. Kaya ito, x plus 5 na siya. Then, minus 1. And then, after that, uh, we distribute 2x plus 2 to 2, 2 x plus 5. Yan. Then, 2 times x is 2x. And then, 2 times positive 5, that will give you 10. And then bring down negative 1. So again, let's evaluate. To bring down 2x and then 10 minus 1 or positive 10 minus 1. That will give you positive 5. So this is now your final answer. So pa, number, uh, number 3. So try natin yung h. So h, composition of h of f of x is equal to h of f of x. It's equal to, again, h, ano yung value ng h? That is x squared plus 8x plus 15. Tama? So, isa-substitute natin yung value ng f of x sa lahat ng variable x sa given na to. So, ang value ng f of x natin ay x plus 5. So, paano yun? It's equal to, since x squared to, oh, substitute natin x plus 5 squared plus oh, 8. And then, the variable x, substitute natin ng x plus 5. And then, bring down natin yung positive 2. Okay? It's equal to uh, so, ito, x plus 5 raised to 2, ibig sabihin, dalawang beses natin na multiply yung x plus 5 sa sarili niya. Uh, so, pag in-expand natin yan, x plus 5 times x plus 5, and then plus 8 times x plus 5 plus 15 is equal to. So, again, we do follow Jemda's rule. No? So, we do evaluate groupings muna. So, x plus 5 times the quantity x plus 5. So again, distribute. Positive x to x plus 5 and then positive 5 to x plus 5. So x times x is x squared. Then x times 5 is 5x. And then positive 5 times x is positive 5x. And then 5 times positive 5, that is 25. Then positive 8 plus times x, that will give you positive 8 x, then positive 8 times positive 5, that will give you positive 40. Then bring down 15. Okay, and then let's collect like terms. So x squared plus 5x plus 5x. Meron pang x variable. Ayun, may positive 8x. And then lahat ng constant, lahat ng walang variable sa dulo. So, copy, positive 25 plus 40 plus 15. Okay. Is equal to, so we can evaluate it now. So, x squared, bring down x squared since wala naman ibang x squared. So, next is positive 5x plus 5x, that is 10x. And 10x plus 8x, that will give you 18x. And then 25 plus 40, that will give you 65. And 65 plus 15, that will give you 80. So the final answer is x squared plus 18x plus. Okay, any question? Uh, alam ko medyo mahaba siya, no? Yung sa, especially sa composition of function because we are uh, substituting uh, different functions, no? So, medyo mahaba talaga siya. Uh, any question, clarifications, you can do so. Uh, that's all for our lesson about operations and functions.